Hey, I'm out walking as you can see, all by my lonesome. And my trip took a total of one hour and eight minutes there and back, which you know your girl be walking. <laughs> I be walking, right? So it took me about 45 minutes, give or take. So, but the funny thing is, okay, don't let fear stop you. That's not funny. Let me get out what I'm trying to say. Don't let fear stop you from doing what you know you need to do or that you want to do. See, I'm wearing my, my bag <laughs> like a purse. Okay, what I'm saying is I could have let this crippling fear of what if something happens to me while I'm out walking keep me in the house. Then I would have been depressed and full of anxiety. But instead, I, I went ahead and walked. I know I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. And I got some pepper spray. <laughs> so I will pray and spray my way up out of this. <laughs> One more thing, full disclaimer. Just because I'm telling you this, know your surroundings. <laughs> know the environment in which you are in. Please do not just go out there and just be walking recklessly any and everywhere okay as soon as I got done recording that video I was literally going back over and kind of like editing editing it or whatever and some dumb goofballs went down the street and decided to scare me <sighs> ain't gonna lie it worked yeah my heart sank to my stomach mm -hmm. for sure so it's like <sighs> And I didn't know what else to do, so I just yelled out, stupid. I know, right? But anyways, at least they all they did was try to scare me. Because this was, I don't know, this is like maybe 20 years ago. Actually, like 21 years ago, me and an ex were out walking, um, going from my house to his house. And as we were walking down the street, I feel like it was racially motivated, but there was a like a, must a Mustang, a red Mustang, and there was like four white guys in there. And they had uh, went by like real, real fast speeding and threw a water balloon at me. And it hit me on my arm. But I didn't know it was a water balloon at first, y'all. Like I legit was scared because it hurt it so bad. Like it was stinging and everything. And when we finally got to the destination, I looked at my arm and there was like a fat ass welt, like a really huge welt on me. I'm not gonna lie, I cried because I just couldn't believe people were that mean and evil and that they could just do something like that, you know, we did nothing wrong or whatever. So, full disclaimer, know your area, know your surroundings before you be out walking. Okay, all right, bye. Look at this hill. Look at this whole entire hill, y'all. I'm gonna show you. I just came from up and down, man, look. I wish I could show you how steep it is. Like literally this camera doesn't do it justice, but that hill is steep, large cake. But by the grace of God, I'm home. I'm not actually in my apartment yet, but I can see my apartments right here, so. Oh, praise God, okay. I'm safe now. Thank you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but yeah. That was a fun walk, but be careful, be safe. Okay, bye, love you. Oh yeah, be true, be you, stay true. And remember always that the most high loves you. Love you too, bye. Yeah, that's not awkward at all. Mm -mm. Just some random boots chilling out in the parking lot. Ah, I digress. <laughs> hey y'all, hey. So I'm carrying my grocery bag like a purse. I just came back from walking. It took about 45 minutes there and back. I had to go get some things, you know, Rose done shut down, no, done shut down, no, you girl. But instead of being depressed and stuck up in the house, God gave me two legs. And two legs. I'm going to use them. <gasps> I'm tired. I'm mother I'm tired. In case y'all wonder, I know y'all probably wondering, like, why she walk? Why she walk 45 minutes there and back? And why is it nighttime when she's back? I know. I know. But hear me when I say this. I contemplated since 4 o'clock. Should I go do this? 
nah, I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. And then I was like, no, nah, bro, because I'm gonna be mad if everything closed. I don't gotta fall in. That's number one. Number two, God, well, God, God be up out of there. That's number one. Number two was what I just said. You can go through that again. Number three, because my very first time in life, my very first time in life, oh, I'm putting on this sock there. <laughs> I just took them off. Uh, my very first time in life, I ordered a lift to work. I'm like, I can pull. Man, I got in there and it was so awkward. The silence was so awkward. And so I'm socially awkward anyway. And I just wanted to quickly just say something because I'm not taking two minutes anyway. So I'm like, hey, how long you been doing this? He said, me no speak English. I'm like, okay, no worries. Okay. Man, I go inside. Well, before I go inside the job, he handed, he handed me the phone. And he, he uh, like a translator thing. I can't even talk. He handed me a translator and was asking for my number. And I got confused. I was nervous. I'm awkward. I told you I'm social. I'm socially awkward. And so I gave him my number because I'm thinking it's for like the ride back home. I don't know y'all. Don't ask me. But as soon as I get in the building, he said, you look so good. What's your name? I blocked him. I, I uninstalled the app. And I said, I got two feet. Two feet. I ain't doing that no more. No Ubers, no lifts. I don't care. 